This is from another patron saint. Patron, patron saint. saint. Patron saint. Welcome to the patron saint vault. <laughs> Where every whiskey is a saintly whiskey. What's the name? Caleb Black. Caleb Black, you patron saint of whiskey. Oh, I'm going very <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. I'm, I should get extra points for the dark crystal reference. Sure. Seven okay. points. You Seven get. points awarded to the man in the corner. Oh, man, oh that is so. What is that? Yeah, is that, that sherry. Is, is raisiny that sherry cask peated malt whiskey. Raisin. Highland Park Magnus from Caleb Blag. Smoked. Um. Smoked. Orkney Islands, the northernmost islands other than the Shetland Island, which now has a TV show based in Shetland that's actually really good. Sm smoked salted dates. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Now, um, this, they actually peated some of their own malt. So a lot of distilleries in Scotland now are sourcing peated malt or even malt barley in general mm -hmm. instead of doing it themselves. Because mm -hmm. that makes sense, right? Uh, you don't need to ha also be a farmer <laughs> to be a distiller. A lot of salt. But these guys are farming some of and, and peating some of their own barley. I don't know if they're farming. They're peating some of their own barley with Orkney peat. Um, about 20%, according to what they say, goes into the Magnus. Mm -hmm. The rest is barley coming from Highland and the mainland. Mm -hmm. um, now, this isn't a meaty peat. It's not savory peat. It's no, more it's... more of like the salty... Yes, briny. briny. Yeah. Almost um, Talisker and, and Lechegg. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, that smoked, salted date... The more I smell it, the more that acclimates, and I'm starting to pick up other things. Now, this is a part of their new releases. This is a no-age statement whiskey. It means it's at least three, but we don't really know how old. Yeah. Um, and it's sort of now the base entry level okay. Highland Park. All right, let me say this. I'm saying hmm. this. Highland Park, I think, at this moment in time, for me, it seems like the last 15 months, and this is just from my perspective, it could be wildly off base. But the brand of Highland Park has really been coming into its own, mm -hmm. and they know it. Yeah, they and do. they are leveraging that momentum. Yes, they are to release a whole bunch of different whiskey lines. Yep, uh, and they're not afraid to go no age statement and low proof. Mm -hmm. And as a marketer, I'm thinking, way to ride that wave. Right. <laughs> do, you, do you think though? As an aficionado, I sort of. Miss the original Highland Park 12 a little. Yeah. Because the new Highland Park 12 is not the same. Okay. Um, it's it, remember the Longmorn thing where the old yeah. Longmorn's like magical and the new one is really good. Sure. It's the same thing. Okay. The original Highland Park 12 is just a magnificent whiskey. Mm -hmm. The new 12 is a really good whiskey. Sure. Um, for somebody that isn't quite ready for a Lafroig or a Lagavulin or an yeah. Ardbeg. But they want to step up. They want to get like an intermediate intermediate level of Pete. Yeah, I could. Um, okay, so here's Not what I would say. Not entry level Pete. Intermediate level Pete. If you don't like sherry cask, intermediate peat, I point people towards Oban 14 and Talisker mm -hmm. uh, as a gateway, mm -hmm. right? For people who like that sherry fruity finish, mm -hmm. I point them towards Highland Park as a gateway. Yeah. Yeah. And it's almost like uh, asking wine people, do you like more dry red wine or more fruit forward red wine? Right. If they like dry, you don't send them to a heavy cab, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so on. So if they like the sherry, if they like McAllen, because that's what they've been poured, sure. and they they like the sherry thing, yeah. then point them towards Highland Park next to get them more acclimated to the smoke. Okay. Uh, so I think this fits into an interesting space for me. If I am wanting some peatiness, mm -hmm. but I don't want it to dominate my attention. Yep, you also want some sweet, friendly. I want some sweet, friendly stuff. Um, I like complexity, but it's not like the main thing I have to have. Right. I just want a, a good peaty background whiskey, mm -hmm. which for peat whiskeys, there's not a lot of background peat whiskey. There's really not. Right? I think this could be a decent peaty background whiskey. It doesn't demand yep. your attention. It's not going to be the hero if you've been around the block with a lot of different peaty whiskeys. But 
it's fine. It'll it's, get you there. Yeah, it'll get you there. It's it's nice. Now you said this was entry level. I'm getting more vanilla now that I'm getting acclimated to the uh, dark fruit. Yeah, it's starting to turn more of vanilla. Down. Do you know how many other Highland Park offerings there are at this point? Because it seems like a turnaround, and there's another one. And there's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I know we have like. 11 over there. Yeah, so there's... It's over here. Yeah. There's like 11 that we have, and that's not all of them. We got the Josh King. Love the channel and tribe, guys. Wondering if along with the backlog of donations to review, if every once in a while, maybe fortnightly. You play Fortnite? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a video game. Yeah. It's only the video game of the moment, Dave. Yeah. It, you know a oh, while I'll never play it? Because you have to involve yourself with other people. Yeah, it was just this, this guy. This freaking guy. This freaking guy. You could do, uh, maybe could you do comparisons between whiskeys from the same distilleries? Oh. Uh, video comparing Talisker, Talisker 10 with Dark Storm and 57 degrees or Lagavulin to the 16 to the 8 to the 12. We could do uh, distillery days. Distillery days. Where each video we live with the distillery for a day. And then, now, we would have to have a, a respectable breadth and depth of offerings from I'd say at least three. Maybe, the, I mean, that's what we do when we, when we finally get to the end of the Vault Whiskeys, which at a thousand episodes is about two and a half years away. <laughs> <laughs> and that's assuming everybody stops releasing new whiskey. Yeah, uh... <laughs> We're gonna have to build a new building. Uh, all right. Uh, welcome to the Whiskey Tower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the board of directors' worst nightmare. <laughs> it really is. You just played right into it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cut, edit it out of context and old, yeah. <laughs> old, th old Thanatos? old Thanatos. So in baseball, you second and third string pitchers. <laughs> Wait. Do you have second, or did you just call us second and third string pitchers? Yeah. So in baseball, you second and third string. You second. You have. Third all right, you have a minute. Do we have second and third string Mooch to step in and help in times like these? Cheers. My children. <laughs> yeah, you're training them up <laughs> as Mooches. They just take and they well, take. Well, Cash has already headed that direction, too. Yeah. I need children. Remember the old days back when you have kids to work your fields? <laughs> yeah, you, you actually... had a bunch of kids so you'd have extra farm workers. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because you know you're going to go through a few. <laughs> this just got dark. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. Uh, Averman09, hey gents, whatever happened to Blend the Geddon Barrel from episode 82? Oh uh, yeah, how did that, it turn how out? How did it turn out? Uh, it's the like, barrel sort of broke it. Yeah. It made it not as complex. I remember all the way back to that first Blend again. It made it boring. I remember all the way back to that first Blend again. Yeah, we spelled that one like in all caps. Blend again. Do you remember what I said should not be done? With that bottle. That we shouldn't pour it into the barrels yeah. and blend it all together? Yeah. Yeah. Then what would you? <laughs> so I, feel like, I feel like I'm in the principal's <laughs> office. He's like, so what did we talk about last time? You were. And so what did we do? I'm right. like, why do you keep referring to me as we? Why do you keep doing that? <laughs> you got to. This is your formal reprimand. What did we do? What did we say about this? You're going to need to have your parents sign this. What did we say when we discussed this last time? Mr. Whittington. Don't break the whiskeys. <laughs> That's all you had to do. Is not break the whiskey. Uh, Root Van Dacker, what's the most expensive bottle you have in the vault right now? Well, it was the McAllen M. Yeah, we kind of... We drank it all. We did that in a, in a drink stream. Yeah. Patreon drink stream. Yeah, I would say two grand probably right now. You weren't even trying. No, it's, it's closer than that one. Yeah. All right. All right, here's Wait, the fight. I heard. You didn't even name what it was. What is it? Oh, this? it was it's one uh, that called Hazelwood. Right. And it's a special edition from a distillery that only ever released one single malt and then closed. Uh, everything else they released went to blending. Yeah. So they were a facility used for blending and then they released one 17 year old single malt, then they shut down. All right. So this whiskey has not changed for me in the few minutes. No, it's exactly the same. Mm hmm. Which... And I haven't added water because it's already at 40. Yeah, it's so. already at 40, isn't it? It, the, the, the notes here, I feel like I would really like to have this at a much higher strength because I think those notes would soar. Yeah, make it 46 at least and I would like to try it again. But even at these uh, notes, it's a good background whiskey if I'm looking for some brine, some peatiness. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, 
hit that subscribe button on the bottom right and drop a question or comment down below.